This is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 2 end of course practice test, question number 50. The question says, which set contains all the real numbers that are not part of the domain? And they give you the function x plus 4 over x squared plus 4x minus 32. Now, many of you probably already know that the domain refers to the uh, setup that's on the bottom. We're finding a domain that's, we're looking at the denominator here. The reason that is, by the way, is because if we're doing like a rise over run situation, you can't divide by zero here. So you can't have a slope that's four divided by zero because it becomes undefined. So when we do rise over run, run usually refers to my x terms, y usually refers to my uh, y terms, and my x, y setup, if I was going to talk about domain and range, my x's will be domain. So basically, they want you to find a situation where the bottom doesn't equal zero. That would make it uh, finding, those would be considered exceptions in the domain. So I need to set x squared plus 4x minus 32 equal to zero, and I'm looking for um, solutions to this set. There's a couple ways that you can do it once you get there. But if you could just remember, first off, that exceptions in the domain or parts that are not part of the domain would be um, situations that would make the denominator zero. Now, the easiest way to do this is just a factor. So I know that this sign tells me that my answer are going to be different signs. So I'm going to have an x plus or my factoring answer will give me different signs. And this is x minus. Now I need to do a factor list for 32. 1 and 32, uh, 2 and 16, 3 doesn't work, 4 and 8 is probably where I'm going to end up going. And it is, because 8 minus 4 will give me the 4 I'm looking for. I want the 4 to be positive, so I'm going to put the 8 here, and then the 4 here. Now I'm just going to set up uh, these two factors equal to 0, or set these two factors equal to 0 minus 8 on both sides. So one of my exclusions is x equals negative 8. My other exclusion would be x equals 4. So my answer to number 50 is just j, because if I punch those two uh, terms into the uh, domain, I'll get a zero, and I'm not allowed to have a fraction with a denominator that's zero and still make them part of a function. Now. What happens if you can remember the bottom part, but you can't remember how to do the factoring thing, or the factoring's long, or whatever? You can actually plug in the x answers. And what, by that, I mean I can just plug in the information that I need. I'm going to try to pull my calculator up really quickly and show you what that I'm talking about. If this thing would run a little bit faster, that would be great. There you go. As I could see, I've been fiddling with it earlier. Let me get back to the main menu here. So. There. Clear all this junk. Now, what I can do is take each one individually. You can't mix like negative 8 here and 4 here. That can't happen because uh, the x has to be the same number or it's not a proper variable. What I'm going to do is check, uh, like let's check letter F. All I'm going to do is plug it in where the x is. And as you can see, it gives us 64. Well, that would be an OK domain uh, answer. So I can't have, that's not one of my exclusions. So I could just mark out F and say, yeah, that's not one. Uh, for G, it's really simple to fall for this little trick, maybe, if it would work, but it doesn't. Um, so you try negative 4, just to make sure that if you're going to do this method, that you put the negative 4 in parentheses. Because if it was negative x, you would have to do negative parentheses, negative x. Otherwise, it won't work properly. It's just one of those little quirky things, because negative 4 squared in parentheses, negative 4, close parentheses squared, it's different. So, oh, I forgot to do times 4 here. I'm just going to tag it on the end there, kind of cheat my way around it. And then minus 32 gives me negative 32. That's not going to be helpful. Uh, so let's try j just to check and see if it works. So I'm going to try negative 8, negative 8 squared. And if I put negative 8 squared and this wasn't in parentheses, it would be wrong because it would give me a different answer. Um, plus 4, parentheses, negative 8, minus 32. I'm going to enter. See how it gives me 0? And I, all I have to do now is try and see if 4 works. minus 32. 
And as you can see, it also gives me zero. So if you forget completely how to factor or whatever, you can always go back to punching it in for the x value and seeing if it gives you a zero value in the domain, which would make an undefined uh, fraction or undefined slope, blah, 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 and that won't make a good function, whatever it is it is. So that's just the way to get the answer relatively quickly. I would suggest you just factor them out. It takes no time if you know how to do it. But, you know, if you lose your mind and you forget how to do that, you could always go back to punching it in. Good luck.